more important than total costs are the per unit costs because the per unit costs will help us understand whether we're making a profit or whether we're operating at a loss because we can compare the per unit cost to the price that we're able to sell our good or service for. So let's start with average fixed cost. And we'll come back to these other costs in a moment. Average fixed cost looks at the per unit fixed cost. That is, we take our fixed factor, say a machine, and we spread the cost of that across the number of goods we produce. So we start by producing eight units. Our total fixed cost at that point is 100. We divide that by the eight units produced, we get our per unit fixed cost or our average fixed cost. We can find our average fixed cost when we produce 20 units. We simply take 100 and divide it by 20. We can then take 100 and divide it by 45 and 100 divided by 75 and we can find our average fixed cost as we increase the amount of units we produce. We can see that our average fixed cost is continually declining. We can plot this information on the graph. So here on the horizontal axis we have the quantity of tote bags produced and then we have cost. We plot our average fixed cost by starting out with our production of 8 units and at 8 units our cost was 1250. When we produce 20 units our cost was $5. When we produced 45 units the cost was $2.22. When we produced 100 units the cost was $1. When we produced 120 units the cost was 83 cents. When we produced 130 units, the cost was 77 cents. And when we produced 135 units, the cost was 74 cents. We can connect these points to get our average fixed cost curve. You can see on the graph that our per unit fixed cost is continually decreasing. This is because our total fixed cost did not change. So the more we produce, the more we are able to spread that fixed cost among our goods. Our per unit fixed cost decreases.